Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to talk to you about how to install a sound device in Windows XP. First of all, let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. Installing a sound device in Windows XP can have a couple of different meanings. One, you purchase a sound device, or an, I'm sorry, a new uh, sound card, and you're installing that new sound card on your computer. Now the way to do that is you go ahead and you open up your computer, you find where your expansion slot is going to be, you insert your sound card, you uh, reconnect the computer. Before you turn it on, you connect your speakers to that sound card, not to the, not to the motherboard uh, input, but to, that, uh, to the new card. Restart your system, and it'll walk you through the setup procedure. Now, to just install a general sound device, such as another speaker system or a microphone or something else that the computer doesn't recognize or doesn't have a driver for, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and connect the device either while the computer's on or before you turn on the computer then you're going to want to turn on the computer what will happen is a a new hardware install wizard will should pop up if it doesn't for some reason there is a way that you can do this manually you're going to want to go down to the start menu you're going to want to scroll up to control panel open your control panel and go to printers and other hardware after you open printers and other hardware on the left here there's an option for add hardware what you're going to want to do is add the hardware and then click next. What it's doing is it's searching now for hardware that you've recently installed on your computer but hasn't or that you've recently connected to your computer that has not been installed yet. Now it's going to ask me is the hardware connected because it's having trouble finding it and I'm I can go ahead and click yes I've already connected the hardware if I've connected it or I can click no I have not added the hardware yet. Um, if I click no I have not added the hardware yet let me show you click next it'll say that it cannot continue the hardware wizard that you need to go ahead and connect the hardware and then restart the computer now if you do it where you click add hardware you run the scan and then it gives you the same option and you click yes I have connected the hardware because you know you have and you're having trouble with it it will give you the option to search for your hardware device. Once you find your hardware device, it'll ask you to insert the, the CD-ROM that came with your device to install the driver for that, that existing hardware.